In the clear, warm waters of Florida's Crystal River, it's easy to imagine falling in love with a beautiful mermaid. Now imagine that she looks like this. Not quite what you had in mind, is it? This big puffy thing is a West Indian manatee, which migrates each winter from the cool ocean into the warmth of Crystal River. It belongs to a family of marine mammals called Cyrenians, after the word for siren or mermaid. In olden times, some sailors mistook the manatee for a beautiful enchantress. Who knows, maybe these men had been at sea too long. But at least they liked the gentle creatures. Other sailors concentrated on hunting them for fat, meat, and hides. They gave them another name, sea cow, because they're always grazing. Humans like to hunt them so much that one relative of the manatee, the stellar sea cow, was completely wiped out in the 1700s. Manatees and their close relatives in South America, dugongs, were very easy to hunt because they live in shallow coastal waters and are very easy to approach. Like whales and dolphins, manatees are descended from animals that once lived on land. Over the last 50 million years, they have evolved to live underwater. They've lost their hind legs, which have been replaced by a broad tail used for propulsion and steering. Their front legs have become big, flat flippers like oven mitts. These flippers help them paddle through the water, and they also make it easier to do what the manatee does best, eat. The manatee eats about 60 different species of plants. Sometimes they like to vacuum up algae, which grows on the bottom of the shallows. At other times, they prefer water hyacinths and other aquatic plants, which they grind up using big molars. Using its flippers, a manatee can shovel in 100 pounds of plants a day. And after the meal, it may wish it could use its fingernails to clean its teeth. Or maybe it could floss with this old anchor rope. It may look like these two are flossing, but it's more likely they're feeding on algae. An adult manatee can weigh up to 2,000 pounds, so it's no wonder it looks like a big waterlogged sofa. But all that mass isn't just blubber. Every 20 minutes or so, the manatee comes up for air. Manatees don't really swim to the surface, they just rise using their lungs. Manatee lungs are huge, reaching halfway down their bodies. Some scientists believe that just by tensing up their muscles, Manatees can make their lungs bigger or smaller, like a balloon, and that helps them rise or sink without flapping their fins. You might think a manatee's life is about as boring as it gets, nothing but floating around and eating plants. But sometimes it gets exciting for all the wrong reasons. That's because so many people want to live in the manatee's habitat, and lots of these people have boats. When manatees rise to take a breath, they can easily be run over. Some are killed. And many others are left with serious injuries. Today, the manatee is in danger of going extinct, like their cousin, the stellar sea cow. Once, there were over 60,000 manatees in the southern United States, but now there are only a 1,000 or so. But people have created sanctuaries where the manatees can go about their boring lives in safety. Near the sanctuary, human visitors can get close to these gentle grazers and show that not all people are bad news. And the people can see that on closer inspection, the manatees are pretty cute after all. <laughs>